Hey guys, thanks for watching that first video. So on to our second video. So here's the part of the project that you're going to be working on today, Wednesday and Thursday. And you can always come back and check this video if you're needing a little help or you can leave me a comment and I can help you out. So you're going to use the slides that follow to plan a food budget for the week to feed a family of four with only $79. Now $79 is not just for one day, that's for the whole week. And Whatever you buy has to include breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack for each day of the week. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna kind of help you plan out what it is that you need to do and how it can look. So let's go over here. It says example of my food budget. You're going to title it Monday, what I want to eat, what I need to buy, and how much it will cost. So first, I want you to get a piece of notebook paper and kind of plan out what you want to eat. So for example, for breakfast, I want to eat some cereal. So that means I'm going to need a box of cereal and some milk. Then at the end, you can write the cost and I'll show you how to do that. For lunch, I want a sandwich with some chips. That means I'm going to have to buy bread, lunch meat, cheese, and chips. And at the end, we'll write down the cost. For dinner, I want spaghetti and garlic bread. So that means I'm going to need the noodles, some meat, sauce, and garlic bread. We'll write the cost down here in just a little bit. And for snacks, I'm thinking some strawberries, apples, and oranges. So let's go ahead and look at the HEB website and see the prices and total cost just for one day, just for Monday. So I'm going to go back over here. Anytime you see these, this HEB logo, you can click it, and the HEB website is going to pop up for you. So I'm going to click that. Oops. So I'm going to click that. It's going to bring up my HEB. And this is where I'm going to start putting in the items that I would like for you to add to your cart. We are not going to buy anything, so please make sure that you're not logged in over here as anybody. Um, if somebody is logged in, go ahead and click log out. That way nothing goes to this account. This is just to kind of get an idea and add everything up for you. So let's start with our first items that we want to add to our cart. So for Monday, we said we wanted to get some cereal. So here in the search bar, I'm gonna type in cereal. And I'm gonna click breakfast cereal. And I'm gonna scroll down. And I'm gonna keep in mind that I need to make some healthy choices so that my body is getting what it needs, right? So I'm gonna scroll, 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 and let's see, I'm thinking maybe some Organics Raisin Bran. Like this is really good for you. It has lots of good grains and fiber in there. And so I'm gonna add this to my cart. And I got a little check mark, and it shows over here that I've added it. So with my cereal, I'm also going to need some milk. Here we go. I'm going to click that. I'm going to scroll down now. I have to keep in mind, I'm feeding four people for the whole week. So I'm not going to get a half a gallon because I feel like that might waste or go very quickly if four people are going to be um, using this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a whole gallon. And I'm going to click Add to Cart. And then, now I need to go back and see what else I need. So I, for lunch, I need to add a sandwich, chips. And then that means I need bread, lunch meat, cheese, and chips. And again, you're going to go through the whole process of coming up here and adding them. Now, the way you're going to keep track of how much money it's going to cost is right over here. This is going to tell you your total cost, okay? So if you're going to eat cereal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then that's okay. You can do that. So keep in mind that you can only spend 